An Atlanta man indicted for his involvement with a fake university set up as part of a federal undercover sting operation. Documents show 26-year-old Aslan Noon acted as a recruiter paid to entice foreign-born students to attend the University of Farmington. Elwin Lopez tells us how this was all set up. We brought this story to you in January when the indictment originally came down. For several years, the feds used University of Farmington, a bogus college, to target immigration fraud. Several media outlets are reporting an additional 90 arrests were made in connection to this. But I says the approximately 250 arrests took place between January and July. It's easy to see how an outsider could mistake the fake university for a real one. It was listed on the Department of Homeland Security website and a seemingly legitimate phone number. Hello, you have reached the Office of Admissions for University of Farmington, an innovative career college. But it was far from that. No classes, no professors. The owners and employees were undercover officers from Homeland Security Investigations. That's according to the indictment. It also says the eight recruiters in the pay-to-stay scheme earned thousands of dollars from undercover officers to help, quote, enroll foreign students. ICE tells me the so-called recruiters were criminally charged. For our crime defense attorney, Daryl Cohen, says they were enticed to commit. These are people that committed a crime but they were enticed into cr committing a crime. Nobody forced them to do it, but they wanted to be in this country and there are better ways of doing it. But did they really hurt anybody? I think not. I says 80% of those arrested have been deported and of the remaining 20%, half of those were given a final removal order.